All right, this is um, pre-calculus, my in-class practice for tr trigonometry. And I'm just gonna skip around and do a few of these for practice in class. So the first one is we're gonna find the formula for the sinusoidal function, say that 10 times. So the first thing I'm gonna do is looks like, and I'm gonna do amplitude, frequency, period, midline. Okay, and as I look at this, I always look at the y-axis. I'm gonna trace it. So it starts in the middle, so I know it's sine or, co sine or negative sine, and since it's going down and coming up, this looks like negative sine. The midline is the middle here. How do I find that? Well, that's the high, which is 10, plus the low, divided by two, which is y equals zero. I know you think it's crazy, but trust me, you'll need to know that later. Amplitude is high minus my midline, so that's going to be 10. My period is how long it takes me to see one curve, and it's gonna be half as much as that one, so my period is two, which equals two pi over my frequency, which is two pi over two. I'll put my frequency there first, which is two pi over two, or the frequency is pi. So my equation, oh, this is so fun to do, don't you guys think, is negative 10, sine pi x. There we go, good job, all right? Let's do another one because this is so much fun. I'm gonna skip to the next page. I'm gonna do the top of this one. So this one's weird because the y axis is actually here and the x axis is here. So I'm gonna highlight this or else you would be confused. And we're gonna set it up, looks like, Amplitude, frequency, period, midline. And the first thing I look at, and I'm gonna trace it, is it starts down here low, comes up, all the way up here to six and down low again. It looks like the middle is gonna be right here at y equals three, so it's not starting at the midline, so it's not sine or negative sine. So I believe this is a negative cosine because it's starting low. The midline is high, which is six, plus the low, a zero, divide by two. So y equals three, which we saw earlier. Look, Christmas colors, so pretty. Amplitude is high minus my midline, or three. My period is how long does it take me to see this whole curve? And if I come down here, it took four pi, which equals two pi over my frequency, divided by four pi or cross multiply. So you get two pi over four pi or one half. So my equation is y equals negative three cosine. My frequency is one half x plus three. Another fun thing to do, okay? So there's other ones here in your packet if you wanna practice them. I'm not gonna do all of them, but there's some here for you to look at to see if you wanna come up with the equation and then you can check with me, all right? So number five here, there, there's some shifts, but I wanna go all the way down here to this animal population. And this one, I actually gave you the equation. So I said the population of an animal population is modeled by this function, 300 plus 200 sine pi over six t. See the graph to the right where t is the number of days. So I'm gonna, so this is the number of days after the beginning of January 1st. So here's zero, which is January 1st. So that's kind of important because if January 1st is zero, that means January 2nd is one. So you gotta be careful with that. And so if you want to do January 2nd is going to be, well, one is January 2nd, two is going to be, just so you know how to count this, two is going to be January 3rd, three is going to be January 4th. See how I'm doing this? The four is gonna be January 5th. The fifth is January 6th, and six is January 7th. And I could keep going, but we're just gonna label this for now, okay? Just so you know what they're standing for. It says, and the T is in time and days after the beginning of January 1st. Find the times in which the animal population is going to be 400. So I'm switching that up to 400, okay? So the first thing is I wanna kinda write down um, amplitude, frequency, period, and midline. 
Okay. And when you have the equation like this, it's, you can just kind of fill them in. The only weird thing about the equation is I stuck the midline up front. So if you want to, you can think of it as stuck here in the back. So I got y equals 300. And if you look at it, 500 and um, this is 500 and this is zero. So y equals 300 looks like it's about right here. So that looks like my midline and it does look like a sine curve. Okay. And my amplitude is 200, so that if I, my middle is 300, so if this is 300, it's going to go up to 500, and down to right here is going to be about 100. So I kind of do that so I understand what's going on. My frequency I have to find by doing my period. My period is 12 to see a whole curve, which equals 2 pi over my frequency. So my frequency is pi over 6. Again, Christmas colors. That's cool. Now what I'm going to do is find out when that this population hit 400. Well, if 400 is about right here, if you'll notice, so if this is y equals 400, you'll see that my animal population hit 400 here and 400 here, and both of them are before January 7th. So what you're going to do is basically take that equation and you're going to put it equal to 400. So I have 400 equals 300 plus 200 sine of pi over 6t. And then you're just going to do some normal math here so we can actually solve for t. So I'm going to subtract 300 on both sides. And when I do, I get 100 equals 200 sine pi over 6t. Then I'm going to do some more normal math, and I'm going to divide because the 200 is hooked to the sign by multiplication. So I'm going to divide by 200 on both sides. And when I do, I get 1 half equals sine of pi over 6t. Now the normal math's done. Here and then only here, well, that's a t right here, by the way, is I'm going to do the inverse of sine, which is inverse sine on both sides. When I do, I can say thanks for playing. Now I have inverse of sine of 1 half equals pi over 6t. Now, good thing that you guys are all studious students and you found, remember from your table that if you were to think of the angle, that if I take the sine of the angle, I'm going to get a half. I know right off the bat in degrees it's a sine of 30. But since this is in radians, I have the, when I write 30, that's pi over 6. So this right here, the inverse sine of a half is actually 30 degrees or pi over 6 equals pi over 6t. Then I'm going to solve for this. So you can divide both sides by pi over 6 or multiply by the reciprocal. So t equals pi over 6 times 6 over pi, which is 1, which is cool, means one day. But now we got to figure out the two times. So the first time is January 2nd. We already figured that out, that January 2nd is 1. And then the next one, I've got to take 6 minus 1, or 5. And 5 actually turns out to be, if we look at this, January 6. Because both of those are before 6 on my table. And that's how you do that. So I hope this helped. And isn't it beauteous?